I've seen a lot of big collections and some of them, well, they, they might be bigger than this in volume, but I don't think necessarily in quality, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm, I know there's a lot of collections that are smaller, but have higher quality if, because they're from a personal thing. They're a personal collector who say concentrates on say just country music and he'll have a great country collection mm -hmm. because that's what this guy's cared about all of his life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, we have a pretty good country collection, but I would say we have a great one, you know, or jazz. If somebody was like a great jazz collector and collected it all of his life, mm -hmm. you know. So there are things we need, you know, but, and it's, it's impressive because we have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And because I think for the most part we treat it, we try to treat all the records the same pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know, as we try not to give, you know, just because, um, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but um, we try not to be judgmental. I think the main problem with our culture is we think of music as music, not just records or CDs or whatever, we think of music as being disposable mm -hmm. because nobody wants to pay musicians, you know? Unless they're really popular and they're playing some huge arena, no one's gonna pay, you know? Nobody, you go to a, a club, nobody wants to pay even five bucks sometimes to see some band in the club and it could be a great band, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and now nobody wants to pay for MP3s, you know? That, you know, no one wants to buy records, no one wants to buy CDs, everything has been devalued, you know. Uh, I think records are kind of coming back with this kind of, kind of, um, I guess it's coming, sort of a cult status more than anything. You're not going to see an LP in everybody's house, you know what I mean? Not like you did, you know, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mean, it's coming back in popularity as more of a, cult item I think mm -hmm. or a, a niche thing or or a novelty item to some respect but I think the main thing is that people just never like we were talking earlier about the Beatles records how people didn't take care of them you know and it's the same thing mm -hmm. you know people don't take care of their music people you know they download their mp3s and iPod and their their disc crashes and it's gone it's just well oh well you know and I think one of the bad parts about the whole MP3 culture is that it's really nothing. You know, it's zeros and ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't hold it in your hands. I have this new song, you know. Mm -hmm. But to a certain extent, that's what a song is anyway. It's mm -hmm. like an idea and a concept. Mm -hmm. But it's an amazing idea and it's an amazing concept mm -hmm. that somebody thought up. You know, somebody thought this up and executed it, performed it right. at least once in order for it to exist. A long you know? time ago, there was a, somebody invented a laser turntable. And I think if that came back, a turntable where you played the record with laser beams as opposed to an actual needle. Because mm -hmm. most people these days don't know how, what a needle is. They don't even know they need one, you know. I've seen people buy a record and then think they could just play it on any turntable, at any speed. You know, it, you know, it's. But if you had something simple, or, and it was cheap, it had to be you know fairly inexpensive in a laser turntable. You could play any record. It wouldn't hit the scratches. You know, all the scratches would be somehow not there because the laser beam would just hit. The information that was supposed to be in the grooves, you know, I think that would be the big thing. You know, that would be one thing, because you may be able to play it in your car. Then you might be able to have a like like a big flat thing in your car, maybe sitting next to you, and plug it in, and you know what I mean? Because I think a lot of it is the mobility, the mobility of the MP3 or the CD or the cassette made it so popular. You know, mobility is an amazing thing. You know, it's really a good thing. But but I think a, a, an easy way to hook, to play a record player and not get the scratches, nobody wants to hear the scratches. Well, I don't know, you know, the, the bad part is, you know, we're not open to the public. And that's, uh, and because of that, it's we're, in this, we're stuck in this vicious circle. 
We're not open to the public so the public doesn't know about us in order to give us money or to do anything. You know, even to pay two bucks at the door to come in and go, oh wow. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because we, at the moment we just don't have the resources for that. We don't have the facility for that. Mm -hmm. You know, but we're trying to work on projects where we can draw in other people. We do uh, our, our music weeks, like India Music Week, where we invite people from all over the world to catalog their the Indian recordings from India, right? Recordings from Indi of Indian music. And we collate them all in one website. And it was an amazing thing. We, there's some events took place. We had a big Bhangra dance. In, down over by um, the pier, um, and just you know, just trying our hardest to try and get people aware of w us being here. You know, it's not easy because you know we don't have the resources. We don't have somebody, you know, putting us on TV every minute, going, "Hey, there's these guys. They need your money." Like to see a new facility. Okay. You know, at, you know. Ultimately, I'd like to see a nice, beautiful facility in a. Uh, you know, environment controlled place, you know, where we can, I mean, as you can see, there's, there's no air conditioning really. And, you know, it should be a nicer place. This is the archive of contemporary music. A lot of culture is here. A lot of what America has stood for is here. A lot of what the world stands for is here. You know, uh, music, we have music from all over the world. And, to see it in one place is pretty amazing.